EastEnders had a huge Christmas lined up this year, with the Brannings taking center stage as Lauren and Abby Branning fell off the Queen Vic roof. Abby is now in hospital with it confirmed she is brain stem dead leaving her family. In turmoil, ahead of Lorna Fitzgerald and Jacqueline Joss's exits from the soap, but it didn't stop there, with New Year's Day seeing tragedy strike once more, after Aidan Maguire's big heist went wrong, Mick Carter was shot by a mystery newcomer called Callum Halfway Highway, but what happens next? Here's what we know so far, when is EastEnders on over New Year? Is EastEnders on New Year's Day? The full EastEnders schedule for the episodes over Christmas and New Year, into 2018, have finally been revealed, while, there doesn't appear to be an episode on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, 8pm, for an hour-long special Tuesday 2 January, 7pm, for an hour-long special Wednesday 3 January, 8pm Thursday 4 January, 7.30pm What EastEnders storylines are confirmed for 2018? 2018 will see the dramatic fallout to the explosive Branning Christmas, with a death confirmed. While it's not confirmed that Abby will die, doctors confirmed she was brainstem dead and declared she would never regain consciousness. Cast of Bean, pictured filming a funeral on location, with it not revealed who the funeral is for, as both Abby and Lauren were on location. Meanwhile, fans fear the shock death could actually be Mick after he was shot by Callum Halfway Highway. Others have predicted it was Keanu who took the bullet, but fans will have to wait and see. Cat Slater, also known as Cat Moon, has now been confirmed to be returning to Wall for this year. She will be joined by Big Mo and Stacey Fowler's mother Jean Slater, but who else might return? Mel Owen, played by Tamsin Outhwaite, makes her big return to Walford in January. It was confirmed in a special teaser that the character would be back, with Tamsin later teasing her new storyline. New spoilers have confirmed she will be back within weeks after it was confirmed her son, Hunter Owen, played by Charlie Winter, will also make his Walford debut in 2018. Ben Mitchell will be leaving the soap in the coming months too. After Harry Reid was reportedly written out of the show, details surrounding Ben's exit have yet to be confirmed, with a date for the scenes also not revealed. Denise Fox and Kushka's Amy recently got engaged too, will there be wedding bells soon? Masood Ahmed has made his official return to Walford with his aunt and uncle Mariam and Arshad. What happened on New Year's Day 2017? New character Aidan Maguire had pulled Phil Mitchell, Keanu Taylor, Mick Carter and Vincent Hubbard into a huge mystery plan. It turned out to be a huge heist, with the men carrying out a major robbery, only for things to go very wrong. As the men attempted to steal money from a van they had been tracking, the men inside the van were confirmed to be armed. Mick Carter was shot when he raised his fake gun to one of the men, whom he recognized. Meanwhile, Jack Branning remembered his wife Ronnie Mitchell a year after her death. Max Branning bonded with his brother, as he struggled to come to terms with the news. His daughter Abby Branning would not survive after her horror fall on Christmas Day, which EastEnders cast and characters were involved. Most of the Walford characters featured in the scenes, but Mick Carter, Phil Mitchell, Keanu Taylor, Vincent Hubbard and Aidan Maguire stole the spotlight with their big storyline. What happened on EastEnders New Year's Day 2016? Ronnie Mitchell was killed. Off with her sister Roxy Mitchell in shocking scenes in January. The characters drowned just hours after Ronnie married Jack Browning in devastating scenes. Sam Womack and Rita Simons were axed from their roles, sparking uproar amongst fans. Jack and Ronnie's wedding took center stage in the episodes, with Max. Branning and Michelle Fowler both making big returns over Christmas. Will the EastEnders New Year special be repeated? EastEnders used to air an omnibus on BBC One, with episodes repeated on BBC Three. Now, viewers will have to head to BBC iPlayer and the app to re-watch the New Year episodes. Is there an EastEnders Christmas and New Year trailer or advert? 
EastEnders released a trailer, focusing on New Year's Day recently, which revealed spoilers about the upcoming